Welcome to Stat Plus, where we enable smarter conversations wherever you go. In a previous video, we examined how the demand for essential food items like cereals, edible oils, and vegetables has remained largely constant over the last 12 years. We also questioned the relevance of including such categories in the food inflation basket that the Reserve Bank of India uses to set interest rates. Building on that foundation, today we delve deeper into the other food and non-food categories listed in Moaspai's Household Consumption Expenditure Survey and propose a methodology for how the food basket should be reconstituted for better inflation targeting. The MPCE, Monthly Per Capita Expenditure Data, at constant 2011 to 12 prices, reveals fascinating insights into India's consumption evolution. While essential food categories showed approximately 0% real growth, other categories demonstrated significant increases. The MPCE data reveals that in food categories, the percentage change in real consumption over 12 years was approximately 0% in both rural and urban areas for cereals, edible oils, and vegetables. Milk and its products saw an increase of plus 57% in rural areas and plus 43% in urban areas, while egg, fish, and meat consumption rose by plus 54% and plus 36% respectively. Fruits experienced the highest growth in this segment, with a plus plus 100% increase in rural and plus 58% in urban consumption. There was a significant increase in the consumption of non-food categories as well in both rural and urban areas over the past 12 years. Note that this analysis considers MPCE including items distributed through social welfare schemes. These substantial increases in real MPCE warrant careful interpretation. Take milk products, for instance. A 57% increase doesn't imply individuals are consuming 57% more milk, which would be physiologically improbable. Rather, this reflects a combination of different factors. On one hand, we see an increase in demand driven by new consumers entering the market that is those previously unable to afford milk now being able to consume it, alongside a marginal increase among those who are consuming inadequate levels. Additionally, there's a premiumization trend where existing consumers are upgrading to premium varieties like A2 milk and packaged dairy products. Fundamentally, our analysis identifies three primary drivers of MPCE changes across categories. A. Demand expansion, 0 to 20 percent. B. Supply constraints, 0 to 10 percent. C. Premiumization, 0 to 40 percent. We should mention that inflation cannot be a factor in this analysis, since we are looking at monthly expenditure at constant prices. Categories showing negligible MPCE growth over 12 years clearly demonstrate demand inelasticity and shouldn't influence interest rate decisions. While our estimates are based on publicly available data, government agencies and RBI, with access to granular data, can derive more precise category-specific estimates of these components. It is therefore important that the government and RBI arrive at a categorization structure within the food basket that separates out these components as much as possible. For example, basic fruits and plain milk might have inelastic demand and should be considered staples, while more exotic varieties of fruits and premium milk products should be grouped separately. Such segregation would enable more effective inflation targeting focused only on the non-staple categories. In parallel, the government should ensure essential food affordability through targeted supply-side interventions like welfare schemes and trade policies. Now let's hear from you. Do you think India's inflation basket needs a major update to reflect actual expenditure shifts? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to Stat Plus for more updates. Whether you're at work, school, the gym, or catching up with friends over coffee, our content empowers you to contribute meaningfully to conversations on a wide range of topics. Have better conversations wherever you go.